he's trying to kill me off. I am not, but this is Eric. Amarillo. Amarillo, Iowa Tiny House Adventures. I am in the waiting room to go back for my heart procedure, a cardio version, where they shock it to put it back in rhythm. So, and she's in here dying because she's her allergies are kicking in and they make her wear a mask. And then it sets off my asthma. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're, we're just having fun, I can tell you. I already took off twice. Yep. <laughs> I had to go outside so she can breathe. So, but it's going to be a shocking experience. Don't forget to like and share this video. All right, people, your health is not something to uh, joke about or, or put off. Get your health taken care of. It all... All mine started out was I had to have carpal tunnel surgery on this hand, and then the pre-physical for the surgery, they found out I had AFib. And he was not going to take care of it, except for I made him. Yep. So, <laughs> but, and then we got to possibly take care of my sleep apnea stuff for the <laughs> test to, after this. Or I gotta come back up tomorrow and get that taken care of. Get the test monitor stuff to go home and do the at home test. So, but <laughs> I'm getting my health taken care of, so it'll be good to go when we go to Arizona in January. Yay. So, yay. We'll both be in good. Yep. Hooray. And then I gotta get in shape because she's gonna make me do a bunch of hiking, I can already tell. Because <laughs> I'm feeling better. Yeah. yeah. If her legs can handle it, she'll be out there hiking those trails, and, which I need to do anyhow. Cause hopefully, I can go to Idaho for an uh, elk hunt in September of next year. So. Yay. Oh. Uh, elk meat's good. He's going to leave me for a week, just for elk meat? Oh, I Wait guess. Minute. You like elk meat. I guess. Man. <laughs> but you wait, I'll leave him for a week. I don't know where I'm going, but I'll leave him for a week. <coughs> Ain't ever going to happen. Watch. She'll be back quicker in a week. Watch. I want to be back, but there ain't no way I can't come back. I want to be with at least three, if not four, other guys. Watch me. So, out hunting. <laughs> bring, Watch you, me. bring you back a bunch of elk meat. You'll be happy, baby. Watch me. So, and then after we get done with all the running around we got to do here in Des Moines today, we got to get back because grandson is playing in a football game tonight. It's his last, last home, home, game. home game. So, yay. Uh, we got to go watch that. Yes. So. Gotta go see my buddy play. Alright, well, I'm sure she'll keep you informed of my loopiness after this procedure. They uh huh. They gotta put me asleep to shock my heart. So. See me. You can't see Doesn't me. he look cute? <laughs> it's me, Eric. See? <laughs> We're trying to get him to let Rilla record this on video, but they won't. Darn it. He's in here giving them all a hard time. Now, would I do that? So, I'm just being me. Dork. W A E. Dork. <laughs> oh. Well, we're getting closer. I hope she does stab him. Well, she said she was going to. I hope so. so. He deserves it. Make it hurt. Um, my procedure is supposed to start at 12.15. So.
so it's just after noon. Only supposed to take a couple of minutes. Anesthesiologist, pretty cool. He was like, you ever had this done before? No. You ever seen uh, on the TV where they shock your heart and, you know, you flop around and stuff? I was like, yeah, clear. And he said, that's pretty much what's going on. So. Not long enough for me to take a nap. No, no, no. So we're almost there now. He can't do nothing the rest of the day. Yeah, he wouldn't even let me drive a bulldozer, darn it. So that means I have to drive home. I can't sleep. But I know where I can get a bulldozer to drive. Not. Bill Reed said he'd loan me his bulldozer. Not today. But we just have to have a trailer to haul it to the property. Not today. <laughs> All right. Well, well, you just hear him. <laughs> he told my joke. Anesthesia was told my joke. So. All right. We'll be back afterwards. Hopefully my herd will be back in rhythm and I'll be good to go. <laughs> so, as long as really quit sneezing. So she's got her sunglasses on top of her head. Every time she sneezes, they fall down on top of her mask. She looks pretty cool. She looks like Mrs. Pac-Man with sunglasses on. <laughs> He's done. He's being a whiny baby about losing hair off his chest. I ain't got much hair on my chest. Wah, it wah. took hair off my chest. Wah, so wah. It went rather quickly. So the anesthesiologist, pretty cool. So he joking around with me, and yeah, boom, boom, in and out. They say I'm back in rhythm. Heart rate's good, blood pressure uh, 97 over 66, good. Ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Are you recording him? Okay. Yeah. It went fine, one shock. So you should be able to pick up your stuff for the sleep apnea study. All right, one shock, mm -hmm. that's all yeah. it took? Yep. Awesome sauce. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> that was the actual doctor, so. She's the one that shocked it. Did a good job. My heart's back in rhythm. I don't plan on running a marathon anytime soon, just so you know. But I am going to hopefully start getting in better shape. Because I got that up kind of, she's not happy about it. So we're going to have to do blood pressure again, man. Can you take it off? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. That was good as soon as I took it off. That boom, boom, boom going on. I was like, I oh, set off an alarm. Ready? Garbage. Oh. She scores. Okay. Two points. So. But all I got to do is get dressed and then we're going to eat. And I got to go pick up stuff. For Let's my, go pick that up first. We'll go pick that up for my uh, sleep test. So. All right. Like 50 degrees. <laughs> She's complaining about the temperature. But hey, procedure lasted real quick. Or we took one shock to get me back into rhythm. And whoa. So, but uh, I, they took me back to the room and she said that was the quickest anybody's recovered. And I got, I had my clothes on before they even came back. After they took me to the room, they said, okay, you can go. So now we're on our way, go see about getting my sleep test stuff for at my at-home sleep test. And then get food. Uh, the fat man hasn't eaten since last night and I'm hungry. So I haven't drank anything since last night either. I just had a couple sips of water still in there and uh, now I got my sweet tea. <laughs> Gotta have my sweet southern tea. So Okay. Give me a push bumper. They ain't even we're at a stop sign. Jeepers.
Now you want to get lane? in the left lane? I can't drive. Doctor's orders. So Miss Rilla's driving in Des Moines. She doesn't like it. So I want to push bumper. So on both trucks. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, we had the procedure done. It went good and everything. We stopped by the the sleep place. I got that all set up. I told him I'm going to do it Sunday evening. She wants to take a nap for an hour so she can be grumpy afterwards. No, I won't be grumpy. <laughs> you just said earlier, you can take a nap for an hour and be grumpy, or take a nap for two hours and <laughs> not be grumpy. No, I won't be grumpy if I take a nap for an hour. Okay. But she better not be because I said we're getting... If I take a nap for 15 minutes, I'll be grumpy. Oh, okay. So, but we got to go to grandson's... Uh, football game tonight. So, but I'm glad to report it supposedly went well. We're going to be doing good, hopefully, and hopefully it stays. Yep, keep staying in this lane. I'll tell you when to turn. And hopefully it stays where in rhythm and stuff. So we'll be good that way. And no hundred percent guarantee. Yeah, there's no guarantee on it. So, but, you know, we can always pray. So, I'm going to get off here so I can... Uh, Before I scare it back out of rhythm? Uh, guide her on where she needs to go. You want to say your spiel? Uh, like and share us. See you on next video. Yep. I probably forgot something. I no, know you did very good. I'm trying to drive. You did very good. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.